Okay, so I got asked to make a video, kind of, I guess an intro video or what I like about video, about this vacuum. Um, this is the Shark Rocket Dual Clean. Um, what the actual number is, I don't know. I think it's one of the original versions. Um, I will just kind of go over what it looks like. It has this long um, pole, which for the test, because I sort of sit on the floor to get a cool camera angle, I don't use that often. I f I'm really tall, so I feel like when I do the regular videos that it seems like that I'm so far away from the carpet and I don't have any way to display it um, or to hold my phone. But anyways, okay, so let's start with the bin. The bin's really cool. It just unhooks, it's got these two little things here and you can empty it um, with the thing at the bottom, which I will do right now. So look at my, this is, it's like a little, um, cooler bag, but it's going to become my dirt bag for right now. So hold on one second. I really don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try it for now there. Oh, look. Oh, crap. It's already spilling. I officially have rice. I went and bought rice and I'm already spilling it. But here I'm going to... Oh, that's going to have to open more. It's never going to come out of this carpet. I just know it. Oh, yeah. We'll put some in there. We'll get some on this carpet. Put some on the hard floors. Oh, I'm just making a mess now. Okay. Yay, rice. <clears throat> okay, so here's the bin. It's very small. I mean, you guys have seen me empty it a gazillion times. Um, the filters are on top, which, again, you guys have seen me. Why is it all blurry? And there's a felt filter and then a foam filter. I have to say this. <clears throat> I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of vacuums, obviously, and I'm a huge fan of vacuum videos. But <clears throat> for anyone that just happens across any of our videos um, of any kind, I will say to any vacuum owner in the history of cord or of bagless vacuums, the most important thing that you ever do for your vacuum is maintain your filters. It doesn't matter what size, it doesn't matter if you use it, you know, once a week or every day. You this is the life and death of your vacuum. If you do not maintain these filters, it doesn't matter that you spent $50 on a vacuum or you spent $500, your vacuum will break. It just is the way that it is. They're so different than bagged vacuums <clears throat> and they really do lose suction and, um, and performance ability when you do not manage the filters well. It's so, so important that you clean them. So yeah, that's my little speech because I have so many friends that call me and they're like, I don't understand why my vacuum's not working. And they've got stuff around their cyclone and their filter has never been washed and it takes me five seconds to fix the vacuum, but it does a number, you know. Um, let's see here. So this all unhooks here just by a snap, and then what you guys see me do all the time with my foot, which I'm going to do again right here, and that comes undone. And the attachments it comes with is a little dusting or upholstery brush, which I don't like this one. I mean, the bristles aren't that hard, but they're a little stiff. And then the crevice tool. And then here is the brush, or the actual power head. Now, I showed you guys this in another video. Why can't I do it this way? Okay, so this comes out. Oh my God, look at all the fuzz already. I don't know what I've been cleaning. 
Um, <clears throat> oh, the dog bed. They ate parts of their dog bed. So, <clears throat> the great thing about this is that it just lifts over here. And the whole brush roll comes out. Which I absolutely adore. I don't know why every vacuum doesn't have this ability. It's so needed. I don't, I rarely need scissors. Oh, and it also has a little tool to help. Like, it's got a little brush over here. And a little hook to like hook this stuff. Which I'm sure you guys have watched other vacuum videos and they have all of this explanation and then I don't know if I'm gonna oh yucky I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one handed sorry I'm still getting this stuff off this brush here this is a huge godsend for me because of the fact that I have really long hair and this room that I always do these tests in is my spare room which is aka the dog room and um, well, hold on a okay. And so then you just push this back in here and you just push it down and click. And then on the opposite side, which I've got stuff built up in here. This one has a little where is it? A release button here. You just pull and then it pops right out. And see it gets really muckety mucked under here. There. And you can wash this, and then you can wipe out in here. And it's really, really helpful. It's easy, it just clicks back in. Ooh, I'm getting rice in it already. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, I really highly recommend the Duo Clean. Um, if you're more of a Dyson fan and that seems to be the brand that you want to go with, um, if you have one of the stick vacs, you have to get the fluffy brush. This technology on both vacuums is a game changer. It, that's just what it is. Um, I've shown you guys a handful of videos. I wonder how it's going to do on that rice. Truly, we're going to see. Um, I mean, it, it. I don't sweep. I hate sweeping. I've always hated sweeping. And I've literally used, you know my old tools on my old vacuums not to have to sweep um, for years. So this is everything to me. All right, so enough with that. But yes, um, if you can afford one, they're they're getting less expensive, all different shapes and sizes with this, with the dual clean for the shark. So, um, and I keep looking because I really want a full size vacuum so badly. And my fiance is just not having it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to somehow figure out how to get that done. Um, but let's vacuum. So I'm going to pause you for a second and put my little vacuum life back together and let's get going. All right, here we go. Oh, one thing I forgot. This has two settings up here. The first, see there's a one, a zero, a one, and a two. The one is for hard floors and the two is for carpet. The one, um, I believe, has just a little bit lower suction and slows down the brush rolls and the two is the highest. So I, on the carpet, I always obviously use the two. wasn't as good as I would have hoped. 
It was, yeah, this race is just gonna be in this carpet for a while. We're gonna just move on to the next one here. Pretty stunning. All right, hardwood. something. That's amazing. All right, let's get it all up. space. All right, let's do a pile.
nice. It just won't come out. Hold on. All right, I emptied the bin. Just to see if that would help. <laughs> is ever going to come out of there. I mean, I just got more. Well, guys, that's it. That's my longest video yet. It's going to take like an hour to upload. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.